So we want to kind of go around the, the room and talk to the students about um, what it's actually like to be here in the Creative Live studio. I think we, yesterday we talked a lot about conquering your fears. So we kind of want to know from you guys, you know, you guys really put yourself out there by sending in your videos and coming to the studio audience and how that, that is different from watching Creative Live from your living room. Um, so if you guys could just spend a minute kind of talking about what it's like to really put yourself out there and come to Creative Live. Okay. I'll go. Go, go Jesse. Um, <laughs> so, my name is Jesse, by the way. Oh, hello, Neverland. Um, it is uh, actually it's it's pretty scary at at first. It's um, somewhat nerve-wracking to put yourself out there, like they said, and take a risk. And it kind of goes back to what I was talking about yesterday, as far as. Um, just that fear of rejection. Like you're putting a video out there, says, hey, hey pick me. And um, then once you get picked, you start realizing that everybody's out there on the interwebs watching everything that you say and all of those kinds of things. But I think that it is a really great experience to walk through that. Like I just personally have learned a lot from walking through that now twice and um, just walking, walking through that fear. I'm, I'm a big proponent of that. Once you step through something that scares you, there's one, great benefits on the other side. Like, I've gotten to know all of you people. Um, I've gotten to know a lot of people on the internet that I would have never come in contact with. Um, I've gotten to know you. <laughs> you were included in all of you people. <laughs> so um, I just am really grateful for the opportunity, and I would encourage anybody who um, just take that step um, and put yourself out there. Do it. it. It's a little scary, but it's well, well worth it. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, I can kind of jump in and, and lead off of that because uh, for me, last year, I submitted a video for the workshop as well. And it is scary and it is nerve wracking to do that. Um, and you talked about you know, the fear of rejection, and I didn't get accepted into the class last year. So, and Although you were accepted in our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, but I still, I mean, the workshop was amazing. I got to watch it online. And even using Twitter, I still got to connect with a lot of the people that were involved with Creative Live, and Katie, and Jesse, mm -hmm. and others. And I did meet them at WPPI in Las Vegas. Uh, and it's, you know, it's been a great year getting to know a lot more people. And I feel like that was because of just Creative Live gave me the opportunity to see, here's other photographers that were interested in children's portrait photography. And I was able to build relationships online and then you know, turn those into real relationships. And I didn't let that rejection you know, prevent me from submitting again. So I submitted again this year, and now here I am. And being here, having the opportunity to get to know everyone, meet the amazing Creative Live team and staff, they're fantastic. Uh, but also just having the ability to ask your questions. And you know, because sometimes when you're doing it online, you can submit, but there's so many people watching and so many people submitting similar questions that you don't necessarily get yours answered. So the opportunity to be here and participate live is just amazing. Hmm. <laughs> um, I would say that um, I'm a very, very shy person in front of the camera, so this is extremely hard to submit on. Um, but being a fan of Creative Live for a long time, I wanted to submit on so many other shows, and I almost did your children's one, but then I chickened out. <laughs> so um, there was something about this class that motivated me. Maybe it was staying up until 4 in the morning that I knew that I had to submit it because it was such a huge... Um, asset to my business, and I'm so glad I did. And I have to say, I was super intimidated at first. I love this one. <laughs> you had a good guess video. <laughs> but honestly, I uh, saw everyone else's videos too, and I did not know what to say. And I am a photographer, I'm not a videographer. So um, that was all very intimidating. And I'm so glad I submitted it and was super embarrassed. But <laughs> now that I've done it, I can't think that this experience would be any better and it's just so much more valuable to be here and um, meet all the students as well as Tamara and the Creative Live team. So um, I would say just do it. Don't actually just freaking start it, right? Freaking start it. <laughs> so yeah. I'll go. So the last time or the first time that I ever heard of Creative Live was actually your very first class last time. And I was like this is so awesome. And I was like literally watching it at work. Um, and I was just like, when you said you were throwing another class, I was like, this is perfect. This is exactly what I went to go over. I watched the whiteboard. I was like, 
that is me, I need that. And so when you were having this third class, I was like, I have to submit. And I was like, I think I Facebooked you. And I was like, I'm supposed to shoot a second or second shoot a wedding. Oh, I remember this. And you're like, so I can't do it. And I, then like, before I even said that <laughs> comment, there was another one, never mind, I can. I know. I was like, I just, I just have to. I was like, it's a, it's a small chance. I know that like tons <laughs> of people submit. And I had submitted a video for a different workshop and I didn't get in. But just the experience being here, everybody is so cool. Everybody here is like family. It's just the networking that you get to do and just meeting people and other people in the same boat as you and being able to like have you directly answer a question from me is just really cool. So oh. I just encourage anybody who, you know, wants to learn more or network more or just be around people that speak your language yeah. <laughs> to submit because it's a really awesome experience. How long did it take you to make your video? Because if you guys haven't seen her video, oh my goodness, it was so good. Okay, so my boyfriend took all those pictures. So I was like, don't think I'm crazy, but I just want to speed this up because I cannot do it with a remote and like moving my hand. So from start to finish, it probably took about five or six hours. And I just banged it out in one afternoon. I was like, I wrote down like what I wanted, my message, and then I was like, okay, I have to figure something out to do with my hands. And then, because I just, you know, I just didn't, I was like, if I do a video, I don't know, like me talking, it took like 18 tries the last time I tried to submit a video, <laughs> probably more than 18 actually, but I was like, this is just going to be, I'm, I'm a graphic designer, this is kind of like my strength, I might as well plan my strength and do something cool. So Wonderful, like yeah. Hours, well, because it so stood out. Yeah. Oh, thank you. It did, oh, it really, really did. did. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Matt Carney, I just love him. I was like, I have to use his music. <laughs> and you gave credit. Yeah, I was like, credit you. But, um, yeah, I'd say I'd say to expand on that. Like, there is there is definitely an intimacy and immediacy to being able to be here with it. And I mean, it's I, we, I think everyone here and and all the people watching now, like asking questions in the chat room is it's it's wonderful to have that opportunity. But it's it, no one will ever deny that it's a challenge sometimes to actually even get you know unless unless you just happen to fall into a pool of the same similar kind of inquiries or whatever. Um, if you have really specific questions or whatever, it it really it can be a real tough fight sometimes. Um, and so that's, and not, and not only that, like once the camera stopped or whatever, you know, like, you know, they say we're out of time, we can't take any more questions. Well, when you're here, that's, you know, that, 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 that doesn't really apply to you. So, yeah. It's, um, it, 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 that's, that, that itself is like a value there. Um, and, you know, if, and I had to come a long way to, to get here and it's, you know, I don't, I don't regret a second of it. And it's and coming, and coming away from this or whatever, it's, like you were talking about, like just sort of facing fears and whatever, which is which is basically my whole platform for even even submitting. Um, I don't know. It, it it all definitely even the things that have nothing to do with the questions or you know well you no know, answering the questions I should say, um, even even kind of venturing out of my comfort zone there is just going to be something that that helps me in the other aspects of what did, what what we're really here for um, as far as business stuff. So I mean it's there's many levels where this works and. You know, I, I can't, I really can't praise it enough. So. I love, like, uh, you had me hooked at your video when you said, hi, I'm Donovan Fan, and then I'm kind of a mess. <laughs> Wherever that started, I was like, I like him. <laughs> okay, my turn. <laughs> Kelly in the house. Me, 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 me. It's scary. It is terrifying to put it out there. It is terrifying to come here. It is terrifying probably the first 20 minutes of sitting here and knowing, like, oh, it's Tamara Lucky. Okay, <laughs> you're sitting here, but it is completely completely worth it. I mean, everything about it, the answering of the questions, the camaraderie, the conversation never ends. And that's the thing that I like the best is when, when you're watching it at home, you're there and you're in your pajamas and you're eating your chips and you're hanging out and you're maybe doing dishes, but there's nobody to talk to. My five, five friends down the street do not care what Tamara Lackey just said, even if I think it's hilarious because they're working on, you know, picking up diapers and taking care of whatever, but I have five friends here who I can continue the conversation with after the camera stopped rolling. Mm. And it's awesome. It, this has been amazing. It's just amazing. So. Good team. Like, I'm so excited Good to go team. geek out on photography for like two whole days. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if that's ever even a part of the conversation or not, but when the people are selected, I don't know if that's like something psychological when selecting the people that like will sort of have like like-minded stuff. And I mean, there's, there is a certain power to, for, to have people, oh, you have the same problems too, let's, yeah. let's compare notes. Oh, absolutely. So I mean, it, you know, there, there's that too. I mean, and so that, I don't know, it's, I'm, I'm really glad that all you, all you were selected or whatever, and anyone else who gets selected for future things will definitely have the same experience. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's immeasurable. It really is. 
Well, and I think like anything else, like, you know, we get to spend time together and a lot more tonight yeah. <laughs> in the wrap. You're canceling your flight. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I think that's where it's, it's not a matter of like uh, necessarily that you have so much in common, but you spend time together. And I think in our busy world where things are going, when you get a chance to actually stop and have a conversation that matters, um, that is why you continue to stay in touch and be friends. And my last live audience, I mean, I think I've done something with all of them afterwards and hung out and kept in touch and, um, and good friends, like not just like kept in touch. So um, that's, uh, I mean, thank you, Katie, setting <laughs> Um Allison helped me out when I was in Vegas, uh, who was in our la last audience, helped me out in Vegas and hung out with me the whole time when I was filming Redefine episodes. She was my cinematographer. <laughs> I mean, you just get to be able to you know, stay close, which is lovely. Jesse, come right back. I'm going to Seattle. <laughs> So, yeah, love it. Tamara, thank you guys all for sharing. And uh, Courtney, well, your video was awesome. <laughs> five to six hours. You don't have to spend five to six I know. hours. Uh, <laughs> That's the point that I, I want to make. I just didn't want to like, be talking, and I thought it would take the same amount of time. I'm just going to do this different. I no, thought it would take you longer. Yeah. I was, that was impressive. But the point being, we just really want to know who you are and uh, why you want to come. So, so uh, Monday is the deadline for uh, David Nightingale's work workshop, and we would love to see your submissions.